Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gin and Juice podcast. My name is Melissa. My name is Mel. And we are going to thank our sponsors. Yes, we are. Shout out and thank you to Today Ticks, Earning, and Factor for sponsoring this podcast. And hey, Daddy. And we are real life sisters. Okay. Yes. Yes, we are. Also, if you happen to be a um, graphic designer, please let me know. Oh, because we need one. We do. Yeah, yeah. Once I have our revised logo and stuff, it may have been both of us. Um, I'm gonna need someone to do the ideas that I have in my head. And Mel been talking all morning about or afternoon about her how how her hand oh. aches, and I have a residual ache, and I actually didn't edit this weekend. Ah, uh. so you and I cannot. No, you and I cannot, and I can, and I still cannot. I'm also not really good at that. At doing it? At do I'm not a very visual e like um I don't be knowing what looks good. I just be like, that's fine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is a skill though. It is a skill. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. who like are able to identify like, oh yeah, you should put this here. I can't even I'm not a visionary in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um sometimes I can see what I want, but the limitation in my skill set prevents me from getting there. Mm, yes. And so what I end up having to settle on don't exactly be what I had in mind, but it's the best I could do. Yeah, yeah. So that's all I got. Okay. Hi, I'm Melissa. And, and I'm Mel. Girl, let me tell you, I only had maybe a little less than half of that drink. When you're drinking, you just got to drink more. <laughs> I am a strongly worded email. Actually, that feels in line, though. That's not true. That's, no, listen, and every now and again, when somebody get out of line, you just yell, pop the truck. <laughs> I'm the juice to her gin. Did we hit record? Is it working? Is it on? All right, so um, yeah, so you can send your um, em. I don't know who you gonna email. Just find no, a way to let me can't know. Can't put it in there. Oh, okay. She said admin. Oh, at yes, Kev on stage. admin at Kev on stage. If you're a graphic designer, and um, I'm not trying to put you on payroll now. It's just gonna be a little couple. You know, can you do? You execute. You invoice, and then okay, bye bye. <laughs> That's it. That's all. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with the segment we like to call Long Story Short. Um, let me start because mine is a little heavier, and then oh. you can le okay. levitate it. Okay. okay. So um, mine are actually very short. Number one, for the bigger theme here that I want to talk about are like parasocial relationships. Okay. Right? So often we talk about parasocial relationships where – um, people like your audience or your community has this relationship with the the like whoever the influencer is, for example, or whoever the celebrity is. Uh -huh. But the way that we operate, it ends up kind of working both ways. Yeah. So we are the influencer, but some people, I may not have like met you in person, but you comment so much. I oh, yeah. see you, um, or I, maybe I did see you at events, and at the very least, I recognize your screen. Handle. absolutely you know i recognize your handle absolutely. i recognize your thumbnail picture which is yes. called your um profile picture? profile picture okay i don't know why thumbnail picture was the only thing that I was gonna come out you were going. Oh, i'm like man. profile picture. listen your profile picture and so you do end up like building these relationships and like these para parasocial relationships with yeah. people so one of the ladies in our book club passed away i saw that I have known, and I mean like parasocially, yeah, yeah. Elise, I... for years. Aww. She has come to, I want to say, a handful of shows. Uh -huh. um, I remember when um, her she was married, she got divorced, and then shortly after is when she got diagnosed with cancer. Okay. And I was like, like, yeah. oh my God, like, I, why was she, like, you yeah. have to go through all that just like that? And so anyway, she was going through a struggle and I kind of thought something was happening because she, um, her, co her, her comments on, like, her posts mm -hmm. would be like, um, I'm out of the hospital, I'm so excited, uh -huh. but it wasn't like, I rang the bell uh, or it was more like I'm tired. Yeah. You yeah. know, I, she was in the hospital over like the holidays uh -huh. and she was just tired. She was yeah. like ran to make it to her birthday. I saw that. Um, and then she, um, she recently started dating this guy uh -huh. and they were planning a, a wedding. Mm -hmm. And so when I saw she passed immediately, I was like, 
did she make it down the aisle? Aww. And so one of the other ladies in the book club was like, I'm her friend, you know, like yeah. her real friend, not this kind of parasocial relationship. She unfortunately didn't make it down the aisle. She was planning on getting married in September. So, of course, I went. We're friends on Facebook yeah. and in the book club. So I went to her actual Facebook account, and she was going to do a, um, a Night to Remember uh-huh. uh Mm. Day I'll always remember. Yes, I, that that uh, the twenty first of September. That oh. was the day they were going to get married. I was trying to remember the lyrics. So anyway, I just want to say uh, rest in peace yeah, to Elise sad. Jackson. Um, all of our prayers and support and just words of um, of comfort yeah. surround her family. And, um, you know, I just pray, clearly we've gone through, um, you know, personal deaths with the, the loss of our brother-in-law. And um, sometimes when you recall them, it's really sad. And then with time, it brings a smile yeah. on your face. Like sometimes yeah. it's still sad, but like you, it, it just hits you a little bit different. Yeah. Um, their memory just brings more of like warmth and a hug instead of this like overwhelming sadness that they're not here. Yeah. And so um, my prayer for her family and her children mm-hmm. is that as they go through the process and they remember Elise and who she was in their family, that it, it wraps them in a warm in a warm hug. Yeah. So totally. I just wanted to um, to honor her yeah. because she was a long time longtime supporter of the Kevin Stage universe. Yeah. So we are going to talk about one of the sponsors of today's podcast, who is today Tix. We are transitioning um, from the winter months and the fall or, or the cold rather, um, and going to transition into some, some warmer months and some sunshine. And so with that, uh, today Tix is an awesome, a platform that allows you to do something a little bit outside of the box to go somewhere, do things you haven't been doing. So um, when it's boring inside, uh, I think the best thing to do when you go out is probably something you've never done before, whether you're planning a special date or just need a break from the same old, same old evening on the couch. I've got the inside scoop on the best way to get tickets to shows and other fun events in your city. And that is today ticks. Today, Tix is the best night out you haven't had yet with the best value on tickets to amazing things going on all around you. Getting tickets is as easy as ordering out. And, you know, we always order out around here. So anything that's as easy as that, we are all in on. I um, was actually when we were in Atlanta this weekend, I was talking. There was this old um, I don't know if it was a commercial or what, but they used to say a body in motion stays in motion and a body at rest stays in rest it's like the um the law of motion law of motion yeah. um anyway so i was talking about that and how i feel like the pandemic has allowed us all we started working from home and just never left the house again um and now we always talk about how expensive things are but when you get up and get out and get moving uh it'll encourage you and want your your body will want to continue to stay in motion and if you need something to do today tix is here for you that was a little bit of a rhyme just go in the today tix app or visit todaytix.com and scroll through their offerings their stuff you've always wanted to check out and stuff you probably never hear about otherwise then you check out in just a few taps and get your tickets sent right to your phone they've got tickets to shows on Broadway and the West End and in other cities across the country and around Around the world you can book your show in advance or be spontaneous and check out what's happening for tonight we were talking about um some of the options for the la area that are on today ticks and there is i don't know if we talked about this but there is a um magic show it's a place in la called the is it the magic Rose ruby rose hold on i have to find it now um but uh, rabbit yeah First of all, magic shows in general are They're just so a fun. good time. They're so They're fun. They're just a random They're good so time fun. that you don't really expect. I feel like in general you think it's maybe like a younger For thing, kids. but like as an adult, Man, magic shows are good time. a good time. If you have people in the in town for the weekend or just looking for something to do, I feel like that's such a good um, idea. And today Tix has uh, the magic hours, what, what it's called. It's at the Black Rabbit Rose. That's the name I was trying to think of. So anyway, uh, they have some options for this weekend. All you have to do, all I have to do because it's in L.A., hello, is go in here, select the time, date that we want, uh, go through the process. Like it said, you you click a couple buttons and all of a sudden the tickets will be sent uh, directly to you, which is always 
a good time. Uh, so go to todaytix.com slash GJ. GJ. And use promo code GJ. GJ. To get $20 off of your first Today Ticks purchase. That's promo code GJ. GJ. At todaytix.com slash GJ. Todaytix.com slash GJ. Very good. All right. Um, I am going to talk about my long story. This microphone is so close. I felt like I was kissing my lips. Um, my long story short and the way that I, the reason I look the way I look today is because I had the longest weekend ever. You did. Traveling with children in general is already stupid. Okay, it's already the dumbest thing that you could ever sign up for. Every time I do it without Greg, it's hard enough with Greg, but like, okay, we have two kids, we have two adults, we each can take one and we can manage. And McKinley is seven, so like, low key, we're just double teaming Micaiah because that's <laughs> what has to happen. But when you're by yourself, man. Okay, and usually I travel with y'all, yes. but you, Melissa, it, it, her, her kids are grown and she is grown and they enjoy overnight red eyes. Yes. I have done red eyes with her. They don't work with my family because <laughs> she's in the fancy first class seats. I'm not, okay? Mm -hmm. Micaiah refuses to sleep, and my back hurts, and I'm sleepy, okay? And now everybody's miserable. And then when we get to wherever we're going, it's now 7 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and the way it works is now you have to do stuff. Right, 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 right. And right. so there's never really any sleep time. Right. So I... Okay, with my brilliance, I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the 630 flight out of L.A., which means I had to get me and my children up at 330 a.m., 330 in the morning. Okay, in theory, good idea, because I'm disturbing your sleep. So by the time we get on the plane, you're going to be sleepy again, because mm -hmm. now I've woken you up. You've gotten dressed. We've had to drive to the airport. We've had to go through security. You are just Mommy, let me sleep. Yeah. Get on the plane. You should go to sleep. Let me tell you what happened to us. We wake up at 3.30. We get there. Okay. We get to the plane. They are like, hey, it's delayed because they have to clean. Okay, that's fine. We're all sleepy, but it's fine. Cleaning is supposed to take 10 or 15 minutes. It takes 30 so we're sitting there waiting for the, okay, we finally get on the plane after this small delay. We get on the plane, and at first, I, I don't like to go to sleep before the plane takes off because I feel like that's cheating. I, I need to let my sleep start when we're in the air because it's going to take the whole right. time. Yeah. But I was so tired that me and Micaiah fell asleep before the plane took off. Oh. And then all of a sudden, I'm woken up to somebody saying, they're saying it's going to take two hours. And so I woke up like, Excuse me, what what are you saying? <laughs> Two hours for what? Till we land? And you, you know when you you know when you fall asleep before the plane takes off? When you wait if you wake up, you lift the shade to say, Are are we still on the ground? <laughs> oh, we ain't we haven't left yet. <laughs> okay. So why what are you talking about? Two hours? And the guy's like they said it's going to take two hours. I'm asking. Everybody apparently fell asleep. We were all tired. Yeah. So nobody really knew what was happening. What's going to take two hours? Yeah. So then I asked one of the flight attendants. And something about the brakes on the plane had to be fixed. And so they're telling us we have to now get off of the plane. I hate when you board and you have to deplane. Get off of the plane and it's going to take two hours to fix. I am so, I am pissed at this point. How long had you been asleep on the plane, though? How much time elapsed? I still don't know. <laughs> I was trying to figure it out. I still don't know. All I know is I woke up. I expected us to be in the air, and they told us to get off. Oh. And I, Micaiah, we have a stroller. I had done bag check, uh, yeah. gate check, the stroller. Mm -hmm. So if you're telling me I have to now be in the airport for two more hours, I need her stroller again. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, y somebody needs to go on the bottom of the plane and get the stroller. <laughs> I don't, this is, oh, I was so, terrible. we get off and we eat some nasty food. They gave us $48 because oh, the I airport the is, too, here's $48. What for am I going to do with this? Literally, y'all know how much airplane, air, airplane Buy a bottle of water. Cost. So we have food. It's disgusting. Micaiah is cranky, tired. I'm cranky. Ty McK McKinley's the only one that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's like. This is the best day ever. I'm just on my iPad playing Roblox. <laughs> I'm like, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, we got to tell that Atlanta story. They end up delaying us not just two hours, four hours. Four hours. For the same reason? Yes. Oh my God. 
four. And the, you know, the Delta app, at that point. they just, I'm like, yeah. I could have been there. I would have been in Atlanta. And the Delta app just be like, update to your flight time. Yes. Update yep. to your departure time. Update to your departure time. I'm just like pissed. <laughs> so we finally get back on the plane. And I just wanted to say that like, the fact that you told us, you know, that it was the brakes. Currently, Boeing airplanes are falling out of the sky. That's what Daddy probably was talking about. They are. F- there are parts missing, windows bursting, wings flying off. Boeing, they are asleep at the wheel. Nobody knows what's happening, and they are still putting planes in the air. I'm telling you right now, as a person who worked in aerospace, it Girl. is quite scary. What are they doing? So, generally, I don't know what's happening Currently, obviously, I don't work at Boeing, so I'm only speaking from my yes. experience, not what is currently happening. My experience <laughs> in the aerospace industry, okay? Don't have nobody coming after me. I'm telling you my <laughs> personal experience when you work there. as a person who has worked at three different yeah, yeah. aerospace companies, three different aerospace companies, they, including Boeing. They make it Okay? Up. They... The quality control Child. is not quality. Hello? What often happens is they'll say, uh, Melanie's, Melanie Aeroplanes, LLC, you have done so good in your quality checks oh, in the past that we, don't need to check it the that we won't, what we do is we authorize you, you. Uh-huh. to mm-hmm. check it internally. Yep. And what happens is with these um, companies They have, because I worked on both sides, right? So I worked Boeing. We manufacture uh, planes, but we also buy parts from from places. Uh I also worked in manufacturing plants, the places that sell the the parts parts to to Boeing. Okay. Okay. Two of those I've worked at. When When the people would give us, when I worked at the manufacturing plants, quality control. And when quality comes up against your sales goals. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sales wins. Sales wins. Mm-hmm. So we would ship stuff out the door that was not qualitied, did not, and and don't have it where the quality control manager and the sales director are having a tiff. Oh. Because now I'm, I'm as a sales director, I'm telling quality, push my parts out the door. Money. Cash push rules everything around me. out the door. We would have at one of the places I worked at, I'm not going to tell you which one. If I personally knew a plane that I was flying on was manufactured from that plant, I would ask for a different flight. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is why the planes are not working right now. This is why the parts are flying. Tires are blowing. Just. I worked on, they, they call them CSI critical safety. Um, no, it was called CSI because it was critical safety inspection, but it was critical safety equipment like brakes, uh-huh. brakes. And I worked on the military side. So we sold our stuff to like the Air Force and um, I worked on the Air Force and the Navy. Just see, see, let me tell you, I would be like, Lord Jesus, don't let our country go to war. <laughs> Planes won't work. The plane, not you can't land. You can't oh, take off. The brakes is not gonna break. This is what I'm talking about. It and we just not. supposed to be on the planes just fine. I'm telling you, working on the inside, it is very scary. It is very, very scary. Well, also, here's what I was so confused about. There was a lot of things, but one of the things is, why are y'all checking the brakes while we're boarding or while we're what? Who, there's not a process for this to have happened already. No, they Why are we it. on the plane and y'all are down there checking brakes right you, now? No, no, you want them to. You want the pilot to check it because his life is in danger too. But if you say, why the do they do folks, that beforehand? Like, because I'm going to tell you why. The urgency that I have when I'm finna board the I plane that's true. That's is true. going to be different than the person that's, yeah, that's yeah, true. that's fine. That's fine. You that's want true. the pilot to be invested oh my God. in the safety because I'm telling you, they are not. Oh, I have stories to tell. Well, the I just can't job is tell it. Planes in the air, like do they mm. need to get planes in the air as fast. As That's possible? true. Yes, because they all have a. Bo- At the end of the day, mm. all of these companies have um, not the investors, stockholders, mm-hmm. stockholders. They have stockholders yeah. that they have to answer to, Child. and so yes, safety is important, right? Right. Yes, safety is important. 
Money is important to her. It's a cost loss analysis. They'll be like, okay, how much does it cost to cover or to to sit, fix a problem after the fact? Probably less than it does up front. Yeah, and this so. is the thing. Let me tell you this last thing, okay? Let me tell you this last thing. What we would do, this is so bad, but I've never said the name of the companies I work for. So, and actually, I don't even think either one of them are existent. So, even if you found out, I don't think it would you, be fine. Which is probably why they're non existent. <laughs> um, we would push parts out that we knew were faulty uh-huh. and just expect the R or the return. We call them RMAs. We would expect the return to come, back. to come back. But what happens is when you return it to me, I don't issue you a credit. So it doesn't affect my numbers. Oh, I see. I see. This All we do. This sounds like a scam. Parts. No, we would push the parts out the door. We would invoice you. And then you when you when we issued your RMA return, it was a return material author. Sorry. Is my mouth out? Yeah. People was, were saying that they couldn't. It oh, was sorry. Um, uh, a return material authorization, return material RMA. I think that's what the M stands for. Anyway, when we would issue an RMA, it didn't always come with a financial credit. Okay. So your child, I'm not, this ain't alleged. This is my experience. <laughs> I will literally stand in court and dare someone if to tell me If it's your experience, lying. you don't have to say no, alleged. No, no, this you is can, my this actual, is this is a correct. This, this is not <laughs> someone told me. This is not hearsay. This is my actual experience. This would stand up. Yes. <laughs> we would receive your material and then however long it took to repair it your stuff would be placed in the back of the or in the back of the line because the new stuff needed to go out uh, so we could invoice it so would that count as another order too no and that's why it was de- okay. off or okay. deprioritized oh. because we've already invoiced yeah, you for yeah. it and so it would just sign up on your um on your what's the monthly like your profit and loss like your statement. your statement every month for us it would just be like an outstanding invoice that's mm-hmm. aging uh-huh got it because you i mean you're not going to pay it Child. but also we didn't ship the parts it's so bad so it's I'm really send bad. You anytime I'm flying with plane I know yeah, literally return me, thank you when yes, I was thank on you. the plane somebody was at it is her mic better also sorry I plugged sorry. it back in i just okay. want to make sure it's better okay. but um I somebody on the plane asked the uh, flight attendant, "Was this a?" She was like, "Is this a Boeing plane?" <laughs> Most of them are. If you're riding Southwest, uh, the one there's we were on two, was not. There's only two companies, right? That manufacture planes. There's Boeing and um, no, 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 Northrop. You can be on a Northrop plane, and you can be on a. Uh, there was. It was not. It, no, no, no. There. It, uh, it's. It's like an airway. It was. Oh, I can't remember. But Airbus, the Airbus. 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 The yes. one we were on was an Airbus. Thank she was you. like, "No, this is an Airbus. It's fine." If you're on a Southwest pl- flight, more likely than not, it's Boeing. At one point, I wanted. Don't quote me on this. I worked on the military side, not the commercial side. But at one point, I believe Southwest entire fleet was, was Boeing. Boeing, or they were. It, it either was, or they were working toward it, mm. being all all Boeing planes. That's crazy. Yeah. Um. Okay. Anyway, the point is, I was really upset, and I'm just gonna say two more things, and then we can move on. Okay. Number one is, I know there is a real reason for this, and I just want to say I don't care about the real reason. It's just upsetting that the flight time for a flight. Okay, going my flight to from L.A. to Atlanta uh-huh. is sometimes three hours and oh, fifty-seven minutes. So sometimes it's five hours and eight minutes. Sometimes it's four <laughs> hours and seven minutes. There, it's not five o'clock traffic. We are. It's not cars. It's the literal sky. Why are the flight times changing? It's so funny to me. Why? It's so. Funny. What is happening? The speed that they can fly at. And the wind. Speed up. We all know the things. We're in the air. Fly. We have so much fuel. So it's a fuel. How fast can we go? And how much fuel can we burn? There's okay. Speed up. Fill up. I let's agree. go. If my pilot. Is me when it comes to gas, I would want off my plane. <laughs> if we're in the sky and they're like, well, we barely have out. enough gas, so we can only go so many miles per hour. I, I if if the pilot's gas policy is anywhere <laughs> like understand. mine, take me off the plane. <laughs> take me off. It's so upsetting. But I agree. I don't I just <laughs> I know, and this is what I'm saying, okay. You guys are saying it's the wind. I know that there is some scientific logical reason as to why this is the case. I don't care. I, know, I think it's, it's dumb. still annoying. What we are in the sky and I think that the flight time in the it's, you're not it should be the same. You're not in the air behind planes at a red light. <laughs> There's no stop signs. 
There's none of that is happening. There are birds and clouds. Let's go. I agree. Put your foot on the gas. Let's go. I don't understand why the flight time. And it literally has been three hours and 57 minutes. Last night, my flight was five hours and eight minutes. With children. Yeah, it's a long flight. It was so long. That LA Atlanta flight is long. It's so long. It is so long. And then this is the second thing I need to say. <laughs> when we landed after I had after that four no, hour delay. The truck. I am. Because after the four hour delay in LA and we finally get to Atlanta, we're in the car. Micaiah has been oh. sick. So I'm like, you know what? We were supposed to get a prescription. We get the prescription transferred from the LA CVS to the Atlanta CVS. And she's like, be here by eight and we you'll have it. So I'm like, Daddy, we gotta go straight to the CVS. I gotta get this prescription. I was supposed to get there at 1 30 to LA. Okay. I mean to Atlanta. Atlanta. I got there at like seven. Okay. Oh. That it was is. so stupid. So we're rushing because now I have until 8. Actually, it was like 6.30. I had until 8 to get there before they close. We're driving, and Micaiah just throws up. <laughs> she's in her car seat, and she's just like, Bleh. and not like spit up. I'm not talking like, oh, I'm a little bit. She's like, Bleh. so I'm like, I don't, yes, oh. all on daddy's seat. Listen, if you know a, a mid-50s black man, you know how they feel about their cars? Daddy is 60. 60? <laughs> My daddy clean his car. Every weekend. Actually, at this point, every other day. It be clean and he just re-clean it. Yes. Micaiah is just bleh. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we're really close to the CVS. Don't stop, daddy. Like, I know it's gross, but, like, I got to get this prescription. Micaiah just keeps throwing up. Uh. It wasn't just one. It was just like bleh. Bleh. Mc McKinley's back there like, Mom! Mom, she's throwing up! Dad's freaking out. It starts to smell because everybody knows how throw-up smells. And Micaiah's just like, Bleh. She just, she's not even, like, helping. She's just sitting there like, Bleh. Like, just continuing to puke. Daddy I'm, said he had to hold his breath because he oh said I was about to throw up with He's her. like, no, I'm just going to pull over. I'm like, we got two minutes pull over and we got to i need to make it to this cbs i don't care about these i don't care we gotta get the prescription we pull out he's got bra random blankets in the truck he shot what are, but it's throw up what are you gonna do uh, no like so then he she just is sitting there with like blankets on top of her and then he had because it smells he turns the ac on yeah. mind you it's in atlanta it's raining it and was. cold he just blasts the AC. So we're all in there like, <laughs> he is so cold. It's so cold. He's like, hey, hey, hey. And Micaiah's just like, <laughs> McKinley's over there like, I don't want to look. It was the worst. I wanted to call and curse what, Gregory what, out. What did McKinley say? Mom. <laughs> Mom. She just keeps throwing up. You know, let me tell you about kids. McKinley get on my nerves because she will state the obvious 10 times. <laughs> Mom, Micaiah threw up. Mom, Maca what do you want me to do? Okay, I know she threw up. We can all hear it. We can all see it. We can all smell it. What do you want me to do? Uh, I was so pissed. Oh, my God. Just get to the CVS. Go get Greg. Oh, I, I wanted to call and curse him out. Okay. Just because he wasn't there. You oh. didn't even do anything, but you're not here right now oh. to deal with your children <laughs> with me. We get the freaking, the we made it just literally, it was like 7.53. Oh. I come in there and I'm like, prescription. <laughs> we get the prescription. And then, you know when kids are so, gr when they throw up or poop like that, you just be like. Give them a bath. Mm. Throw everything you have on in the, in trash. the trash. You yeah. can low-key go to the trash. But if not, like, let me just spray you down. <laughs> so we're just like, get in the bath. Just throw everything away. Spray her down. <gasps> it was the worst okay it was so annoying and then so the trip is fine atlanta shows great we leave yesterday delayed your flight was delayed, delayed. again yes oh the cleaning crew the this the that and then when you arrive there's never a gate ready oh and then <laughs> hold on hold on hold on we get to the atlanta airport for some reason the gate is an f f is the international side of the Atlanta airport, okay. okay? It's the international point, okay? I don't know why it's not in the regular, the, the domestic, it's international. The train is not going to the international <laughs> side, it's broken. Mm. 
So we have ridden the train and they're like, you have to get off here. And I'm like, no, no, no. I need the next one. It's not working. You have to get off here. I have children. You have to get off here. We had to walk uh-huh. to the oh, international no. side to get to the gate. It's not close together. It's not. The international is so far. <laughs> it's so far. This is terrible. I was like, I will. I'm just going to stay here. <laughs> I live here now. I live in Atlanta now. I don't I don't want to go. Oh. I don't want I was just so upset. And then so we get to L.A. really late. I try to... Listen, I'm finna be done. But I try to... I take a lot of thought into flights because stuff be closed if you get here late. Mm-hmm. Okay? And the kids be hungry. Mm-hmm. So I was trying to get us here at a reasonable time so that I could still have dinner with the kids. They can take baths, go to bed. Because we're delayed, we get here really late. Everything's closed. So we finally get home. I'm like Jack in the Box. I don't even know. Just whatever. Whatever Uber Eats will deliver to us. So they find they eat their little dinner, go to bed. I just <sighs> I just want to say I came in on Saturday morning and Micaiah was fine. Oh my gosh. She had the nerve to be completely fine she on was Saturday. Totally fine. Completely the fine. Only evidence of any of this is Daddy took her car seat outside and was hosing yes, it down. Yes. Micaiah woke up. She said, Auntie! Oh my gosh. Ran. She was playing hide and seek with Joe, oh running my. around Miss Tina's house. Listen, when I tell you she was totally fine. Mind you, the night before, she didn't even sleep because she has been having this coughing fit. Oh. So the whole night, she's not sleep. I'm not sleep. I'm miserable. And then she wakes up and is like, Auntie! She was totally <laughs> Kai Kai was totally fine. I like I, you literally children. could not tell anything was wrong with her. It's she was totally fine. So as you can tell with my story, life doesn't always happen the way that you expect it to. <laughs> it doesn't happen weekly. It doesn't happen biweekly. It happens in the moment you don't expect it. And so why should payday? The moment the money you earn can be in your hands today with Earnin. Earnin is an app that gives you access to your pay as you work, up to $100 per day or up to $750 per pay period. Just download the Earnin app and verify your paycheck, then access up to $100 a day as you work and leave an optional tip. Any money you access plus tips are automatically repaid from your next paycheck which we love. You know, anytime you have extra money, okay, you have money that you you can spend when you want, you can do fun things like buy that gift. You know how hard it is to remember people's birthday, especially if you ain't been on Facebook in a minute. And so all of a sudden you're like, oh, shoot, it's this person's birthday that I really care about. And now I need to like quickly buy them a gift. If you have earning, you have money, you can quickly do stuff like that. And it's not a big deal. Okay. You can also just randomly have a special night out, maybe with you by yourself, you and your boo, whoever. Okay. You do, you have the ability to do things, um, that you need or that you want new dress new clothes new shoes anything like that you can do that when you have earning make earning a part of your financial routine and join earnings over three and a half million customers who say things like when i think about earning i think about financial stability security it gives me a lot of peace of mind so download earning today spelled e-a-r-n-i-n in the google play or apple app store when you download the earning app type in gin Mm -hmm. under podcast when you sign up it'll really help us and the show hello uh gin under podcast subject to your available earnings location daily max and pay period max see earning.com slash tos for details earning is a financial technology company not a bank bank products are issued by evolve bank and trust member fdic fabulous anything else on your long story short no that was it. I'm happy you got that off your chest. Good, because I was <laughs> mad all week. Ah, that was Loki up Pop the Trunk, which will move into Pop the Trunk, where we get, um, we just be f- angry at folk throughout we the week. Uh, I do have one Pop the Trunk before we do the listen to the folk. And it's I got to Pop the Trunk on uh, teenage boys' metabolisms, uh. Uh, specifically my child, Josiah Frederick. So this is what happened. He told me the other day, Josiah Frederick said to me the other day, when you cook, can you please cook like we are a family of six? (laughs) Mind you. That's such a great way to approach it, though. Yes, (laughs) except I already cook like we're a family of eight. (laughs) I already cook with anticipation that everyone in this family is going to want a second plate. 
Daddy's going to want a second That's plate. That's hilarious. Karen's gonna, or yes. Isaiah, Joe, I never get my second plate, so someone else will get it. Yes. But I just assume everyone wants to. So I'm already cooking as if we're a family of eight. Uh-huh. Okay. So what you're really asking me to do 12. is ten. cook for a family of to 10 for 12, uh-huh. 10 or 12. Uh-huh. Because what he's really saying is, I want two plates tonight, and I want to be able to take it the next day for lunch. Amen. Oh, look at that. Yes. Yeah, so he wants three plates. <laughs> He out eats me, Kevin, and Isaiah. <laughs> Josiah eats the most. That baby in is hungry. The house. It's good soccer. Yes, it is. And he was running track for a little while too. And he's strong. Joe is strong in the chest and the he arms. Is, he's he just is. like a, yes. a buffalo boy. So we go to uh, my dad and Messina's house over the weekend, and she makes breakfast. Did I post this? I, I don't remember. I'm going to tell y'all what this little boy had on his plate. Yes, I did. Josiah had bacon, Mm -hmm. two pieces, three pieces of sausage links, Mm -hmm. okay, a thing of eggs, grits, and and I want to be specific. I'm 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 going to circle back to the grits. (laughs) Two pancakes. And when I say grits, I mean she carved out a separate bowl. I put some on his plate. She did. And she was like, no, no, no. This little bowl (laughs) is his. And for all of you who are wondering, he only didn't eat the grits that I had on his plate. Everything else, he ate. That baby be hungry. I'm tired of it. That's hilarious. I don't have the money. Hello? Hello? To a four. That's the real His thing. metabolism. How much more money you got? And a vow renewal in the same keep year. Up. <laughs> I can't keep up. I need help. I, I need <laughs> Joe funny. Biden to send me personally Hello? food stamps. Food stamps. For uh, him. An allowance. For him. A stipend. Something. My baby is because hungry. if he comes home one more time and says, what's for dinner? <laughs> and it's three o'clock. You mean what's for lunch? Because if I make, <laughs> if I cook dinner early, you know, spaghetti is something you might make early. Yes. Right. For your family. Yes. If I chili. Yes. I, or Mel knows my family loves they love chili. chili. And I around make there. big tubs of chili. of chili. If I don't cook it or move it so they can't get to it, they will have it for lunch or after school snack. And dinner, and it will be gone. Good, that's hilarious. It will be gone. It will not make it to the next day. I can't. I don't have. I don't have the time for it. For I real. can't keep up with that it. Baby is and I hungry. certainly. You know how expensive eggs are. Eggs are still expensive. They sure are. I don't. Well, I don't know what happened in the economy that made eggs specifically. Are we having a chicken shortage? I don't understand what specifically happened that made eggs and milk. Do you buy milk? I, all the milks, oh. oat milk, almond milk, whole oh, milk, all the milks, everything in the cold section is is expensive. Cheese, dairy, uh, eggs. I don't know why eggs are in the chicken in the cold section. It's not it's not uh, dairy, but in my mind, sometimes do you be thinking eggs is dairy? Eggs is cons- right. If you be- go vegan, that means you don't eat any of that things you named. Yeah, but it don't that got to do with whether or not it's animals? I get confused. So my problem with eggs is it's in the dairy cold section. Yes. Yeah. But I don't think eggs are dairy. It needs to be there for the freezer, for the refrigerator. Sometimes some uh, grocery stores But why like do the sign separate. always say dairy? It's over, easy. not over the eggs. It be in the same cold it freezer. It is in the same like section. Adjacent. Yes. It should say dairy and eggs. It should. It should. <laughs> I don't think we ever figured it out. But the point is, yeah. I'll be confused and I don't have no more money. So it's poultry. <laughs> Oh, because it's it's chicken. It come from chicken. That makes sense. Okay, very good. That's all I'm saying. I need help. So I will start up a GoFundMe. (laughs) And you can feel free. (laughs) Feed JoJo. To feed Josiah Fredericks because. That's great. The the other day for breakfast, Kev was gone. I made eight eggs for the boys for breakfast. And I cut up some sausage. Mm -hmm. And I made, uh, I don't remember if it was grits or oatmeal, but like a a cereal. Mm Mm-hmm. Josiah said, can I have a piece of toast? <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't breakfast cereal. It was hash browns. It was the breakfast hash browns. Uh, it was eight eggs for the boys to split. Eggs. Yes. And um, and whole, sausage. Th- the you whole case. A dozen. That's a, a, yes. Four. Yeah. Oh, I don't buy a dozen anymore. I buy 24. Yeah. 18 or 24. That's I can't hilarious. do it. I have if I'm not make, if I'm cooking for the boys for breakfast, I six to eight eggs minimum. That's insane. And Joe will eat. Four if it's six. 
or six if it's eight and leave Isaiah nothing. So he makes, he said, can I have a piece of toast? I said, sure. I thought the, the hash browns was going to be enough carbs. But no. if you want a piece of bread, you got a piece of bread. You got to shop like twice a week. No. Yeah. We get in the car because he eats it on the way to school. He says, I should have made another piece of toast. Oh! I can't keep up. That's, That's insane. Saying. That's a lot of No, food. Josiah, I'm praying because my baby's sure. I don't know why. I literally was asking God this this week. I was having a full conversation with God like, if the way he's eating, he sure, he better be having a growth spurt because don't do my baby like this. The way he is, don't do me like this. There is no world in which he should be eating the way he's doing eating and he stays this little. Yeah, I know. He better have a growth spurt. This baby better shoot up That's hilarious. to six feet because it don't yeah. make no sense. He's not a high school yet, right? Yes, yes, Joe is in tenth grade. Sophomore. Some people have their they have a late growth spurt. That's they true. Have it at eighteen. Uh, he better be feeding it because otherwise, where's it going? Because yeah. this baby is little and eats me, Isaiah, and a uh, calf under the under the bed. <laughs> under the bed. <laughs> under the bed. <laughs> Can I do this now? Is yes. it too early? Um, you know what you need to get him. Tell me, factor. I do. <laughs> I really have thought about giving him these um these Here's meals. Here's the solution. Yes, do factor. it yourself. Yes, someone else Eating takes this problem. Better is easy with factor. This is actually great. If you have Melissa's problem, if you have sons and they are eating you out of your home, get factor. Okay. Yes. Eating better is easy with factors. Delicious, ready to eat meals. Eat fresh, never frozen meal. Oh, every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafts crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. They could be out your face in two minutes because they're going to be eaten. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Get started today and go after your goals. Like I said, the two minute they're two-minute meals. Okay, they fuel up fast with factors, restaurant quality meals that are ready to heat and eat whenever you or your kids are ready. Uh, pancakes, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety. They have options, okay, uh, of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. No prep, no mess meals. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat, so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. This actually feels like the greatest solution. Okay? It does. If you have Melissa's problem, yes. if your kids are eating you out of your house, you literally should try Factor. Factor, and you should use our code, okay? Head to factormeals.com slash GJ50. GJ50. And use code GJ50. GJ50. To get 50% off. That's code GJ50. GJ50. At factormeals.com slash GJ50 to get 50% off. Very Love good. It. Thank you, Catherine, for knowing these things. I know. You be on it, She sure do, because we be like, uh, that, what is, is it? it? We don't search, know. Google we, search. Yes, I don't know. Uh, one other last thing, you'll probably be able to identify this. This happened to me this weekend, and I actually do want to pop the trunk on uh, Instagram, Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, all these people. Yes. Have you ever accidentally DM called somebody? No. Oh, yeah, the, the video call. and just. Oh, it my, no. Yeah. You've never done this? Are y'all calling people on Melanie, social media? Why. Melanie. Why would you do that? I don't know what button I accidentally pressed. But this is this is why this is specifically why I want to pop the trunk on them, because <laughs> right now I am dressed as Miss Kev on stage. Yeah, oh, OK. Uh huh. I have put my makeup on. My hair's not done under this hat, but you don't know that this hat is on. These earrings on this shirt is on. Yes. Everything is presentable at home when I am texting you. Ha ha ha. Or after I posted a get ready with me and you say slay good outfit. Yes. I don't look like that. Absolutely. When not. I'm telling you, thank you. Yes. I look like who shot John. Hey. That's what I look like at home. Okay. I don't even try. Who is John? Okay, John. <laughs> we don't know because do something, John. He did it, so then he got shot. Okay. <laughs> All I'm trying to tell you is I don't look like this when I'm at the house. I accidentally called this girl. Oh no. This weekend on if DM. I could not hang because I could not figure out how to because Instagram don't want you to hang up. That's true. So I couldn't figure I out imagine. how to hang up. The panic. Oh, my, my, my. That consumed <laughs> me. Oh, my. Oh, 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 oh. And they put it on like FaceTime. Uh, so yeah. you can video see call. yourself. Just, yeah. You see you and you look like, crazy. She can't see me like this. <laughs> oh, God. If this woman answered the phone. Who 
are you, girl? I don't know. I what stole Miss Kevin Sage's phone. That's the thing, too, though, is you could call anybody because you could be followed by yes. anybody. And you could just call. We should call Cardi. Call Cardi B right now. See if she is. <laughs> Literally. Call Beyonce. I don't know how to turn it off. But looking at yourself in pain. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, how do I? Oh, no, 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 please. Oh, hey, maybe she goes to answer. I, I was freaking out. It is an unnecessary feature. I, I do not want to be FaceTiming people on my DMs. See. I am so sorry. That is no offense to any of you. I love you all. But I do not want to be on FaceTime with you when and I'm at home. I don't want people to have the ability to FaceTime me either. People have done it to me as well because they'll be like, sorry, I didn't mean to FaceTime you. I oh don't even gosh. respond. I just be like, Jesus, please let this hang up before they answer. Please. <laughs> let me see if I can do it. Oh, is, is it like this? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I did not. Mm -hmm. I've never. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't actually even understand how it works because if I call you, does it give you your phone number? I don't know. No, Try you right don't now. access that. It's. Uh, it's. How does it work to call my phone? Try to call it's me right now. Chat. Okay. I want it off. I know that should be ability to turn it off. You shouldn't. People shouldn't just be able to contact you. I don't like that. Cause I. Oh, I oh was it Carla B? Full on. It was her. That's who she calls. Look, and this is how you look now. Oh. So you're full on. You guys can't see. But full on. Oh, it says video chat with Melissa. Yes. And so it's up here. But this is what I'm doing. Oh, I down see. Down here. Oh. Before you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my, my, my. I missed that call. It said you missed the video chat. I Girl, will miss all of those. I quickly. Don't you ever fa FaceTime me in the, in the DM. <laughs> that why, will never the, work out in your favor, okay? If it's not a setup thing like, hey, it I'm will fit be a to, no. yeah. it's kind of intrusive to just yeah, FaceTime absolutely. somebody. Yes. So anyway, I want to pop the trunk on the app because yes. I want it to go away. Okay. Oh, they got to go to the privacy study? I will because okay. I, I don't want it as an option. Me either. Uh, we are going to play these and as you are rounding them up oh we need to get um, headphones um, I should probably say it after but we're here now so I'm going to say it Okay. Law and Order has been renewed for the 26th season has it really been 26 26 seasons, seasons. wow I, it's Law and Order SVU what is the longest run Cam you probably know this what is the longest running series how many seasons? Because SVU. I think it's, I think it's Law and Order. Honestly. I was going to say, I feel like it, it is, is too. Grey, Grey's Anatomy may be right behind it, but uh, I'm pretty sure Law and Order is the longest running. I wonder if it's categorized, though. Oh, my God. What is it? That's General the... Hospital had 60 seasons. Okay, yeah. It was one of the hospital wow. dramas. Guiding Light, 57. Okay, the soap's got to be out. Day of Our Lives, yeah, 57 soap's be out. as the world turns. Sesame Street, 53. Okay. Okay. Simpsons is up there. Young sure. and Restless, Saturday Night Live. Oh. One Life to Live. Okay, right. these so it's a lot. it's not on here at all. It's all not My on the Children, list. The Bugs Bunny Show. It's not on there yet. I was about to say The Bald and the Beautiful. The Bold and the Beautiful. Yeah, but Simpsons the... is 34. Okay. Mr. Rogers, 31. Was Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood on for that long? 31 seasons. Uh, South Park had 26. Okay, so it would be beating that because it's now at, what I say, 26, well, 27? Well, and it's still yeah. going. So and it's current, still going. Current shows, I think it's the longest running current show. Got it. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, and here, it's on here, but oh. it's when it was at 24, 24 seasons. seasons. The fact that this show is still on and it's wild and we some of us still be all in okay did you see that TikTok that girl was twerking oh, yeah, like, you it. it was my it's favorite good. thing I can't believe that this show is still on that's wild also I love that it is still on I want no Benson it's so good and and iced tea and <laughs> and Mariska Hasgay whatever oh, her name Mariska is Mariska Hargitay Y'all just keep on doing I love the it. SVUs. The I creators love it. of, I think it's the creators. They have a, a um, I almost think it's like a, it's not a docu series, whatever, on Netflix right now. Oh, I almost watched it over yesterday actually, and then I, I didn't feel like it. Um, but it's like they, um, I think they, I think I didn't watch it, so this is my assumption. I think they are examining real life cases. That's oh. why I'm gonna say it's never ending. It's content. never gonna end. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like I'm not a lawyer, but there's always gonna be something. Correct. For you to talk about, and yeah. they are taking you know how they love taking right from the headlines i love that mm -hmm. 
those are the favorite ones Listen, that, to go into. Have they done Diddy yet? There's going to be a whole oh, season dedicated to Diddy, okay? There will be. They have content. Just do all the celebrity. Everybody that's getting a lawsuit, for the, they should just do them all. I would be tuned It's going to be in. the whole season. That would this be great. This is great. Shout out to Law & Order SVU. I think it's amazing that they have that many seasons. That's all. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> Doom, doom. Black people are so creative. Oh my! Everybody's so creative. But like in a genuine way, black people are so creative. I agree because also Glorilla said, "At the end of the day, the, the day, day gotta end. end." I said, "Freaking genius! You can't tell me that that's not brilliant." She is the modern day Maya Angelou. Absolutely, so freaking poetic. I love it and revolutionary. Like when you really think about it, I saying that. at the end of the day, the day gotta end. That's a word. That's a word. Y'all not gonna catch it. That's your problem. It's the same as joy's gonna come in the in the morning. Correct. It yes. It's th- so if the joy know, ain't came, it ain't the morning. It ain't yet. the morning. So at the end of the day, the day gotta end. Somebody better give her a, a Pulitzer. Absolutely. Is it a Pulitzer? Yes. Yes. <laughs> she deserves all the things. All I want. I want you guys to know. I'm waiting for the opportunity to say this in real life. Oh, it is absolutely going to be said because she. The question was about an uh, interview she had with Biden. Okay, she actually attended and was there. Wait, okay, yes. Okay, wait. At the beginning of that interview, this is how I knew things were going to go left. Because she said, uh, how you doing? Yeah. And she bust out into song. She oh, said, I missed uh, this part. She started singing, uh, oh, what did she start singing? I got to find it now because it was. If you guys have not seen silly. this Okay, Shamir wants to know what we're talking about. So apparently, Glorilla had, um, she was invited to the White House, I believe, and had a conversations with uh, Biden and uh, Kamala, right? So then she's on this show, and the lady's asking her. She's on CNN, just CNN, to be clear. It she was is CNN. on CNN. It was CNN. Hold on, I found it, because okay. I'm going to play. Oh, okay. go ahead. No, so I'll set it up, and you can play. Okay. So the lady is asking her about how it went. So, the you know, were they asking for your support? How was it? You know, were they asking for you to endorse them? That kind of stuff. This woman decided, I'm not going to answer your question directly. I'm a talk. But I'm not going to answer your question. Oh, it's the best. Okay. Hold on. Politically, do they want your endorsement? Do they want you to help people get out the vote? Hey, you know, they ain't got nothing to do That's with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just living my life like it's going. This is just living my life like it's going. But, you know, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying, talk politics, but I love the president. You know what I'm saying? I love everybody. And at the end of the day, that they got to end. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot she did see that. Living my life like it's going. Woman, living my li- I said, wait, what are you talking <laughs> about? And then did <laughs> this. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just living my life like it's going. And living my life. What? Then, and this is this is what cracks me up because I want to know what was in her brain. <laughs> she said, you know, at the end of the day, or no, she said, uh, I love the president, and then was like, Am I supposed to love the president? Maybe yeah. I'm not which, supposed to love the president. president. So actually, I love everybody. <laughs> Because you know what I'm saying? All I'm doing is living my life like it's golden. (laughs) Living my life like it's golden. Because you know what? At the end of the day, the day got to end. The day got to end. What did you just say? (laughs) What (laughs) did you just say? If I were to summarize this conversation to someone else, what would I say you said? Let me say that. Let me tell you. (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) Whatever, millennial. (laughs) George Gen Zier. Who booked her? The rest of the producers in that room all looked at that 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 Gen Z or that millennial like, what the? F-? No, 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 it's a Gen Z. You are not booking nobody. Yeah, else. you can't. You are not allowed you to are book not anybody else. Allowed to <laughs> book. Said, Living anybody. my life like it's golden. Living my life. Like- you know, because I love everybody. The president, everybody. Because at the end of the day, the, the day, day gotta, gotta end. end. A Woo! word. All right, sorry, that was a great. The one. best. <laughs> I want you to know, someone said who did her media prep. I want you to know, they did an excellent job. They did such an excellent job. Because do we know if she's going to vote for them? No, we have no idea. Do we know her political affiliation? Not a clue. We have no idea. Do we know what Obama, Obama, what Biden and Kamala talked to her about? She don't None. know. She knows Jill Scott. We life. have like, no idea. And if the point was for us to leave no wiser, 
<laughs> before she came on co- uh, on camera, <sighs> mission accomplished, my sister. A plus. I don't, you have succeeded. I don't think any of these people have PR people. Let me just say, I don't think any of these celebrities, these newer ones, have sound any like an old person. I don't think they have any PR. They are out there high. They out there and figuring it out. Like literally, golden. they are smoking weed in the back and then coming on screen like, "What's up? That's what am I here for? What am I here for? Yeah, presidents. They be president. You know." They be president. You know, presidents be presidenting. New album Period. next week. All right. You better be here for it because it drops next week. Because at the end of the day, the day got to end. That's what she got to call it. Oh at my gosh. It's the, the day. Favorite. It's the best. I'm telling you right now, everybody who's listening to this podcast, you wait till I get in a pickle and somebody asks me a question I don't want to answer. Oh, girl. Oh, oh. I, I'm, I am going to say, well, because you know, at the end of the day, the day got to end. end. Favorite favorite i am going to say it okay go ahead what oh i will add that phrase to the list hi mel and hey, Liz. i am calling to pop the trunk or not calling well either way i want to pop the trunk on software subscriptions because it's like it's one of those things that really makes me be like you know what grinds my gears but <laughs> It's more than that. Just why do I have to pay every year for Microsoft now? Mm-hmm. Like, why do I have to pay an annual subscription for the functions that I want in Adobe or Microsoft or even just security, it. like Norton VPN? Like, I just don't get it. What happened to going to Office Depot, oh, Office man. Max? The Microsoft software that just came out for that year. And no matter what, as long as you had they that can. software downloaded, you didn't pay for it again unless you wanted the newer one. Like, I get from a capitalism perspective, but I don't. It, I mean, just, I would really like that back. I want to be able to buy my 2003, 2007, 2010, but really 2024 Microsoft package and not. That's and not keep paying it and buying it again. 100%. What happened? Uh, apparently Diddy's home just got raided by uh, <gasps> Homeland Security. By Homeland Security? In regards to a, in sex trafficking. So sorry. I was like, I heard, I have things to say about this, but also apparently, literally, just released 10 minutes ago, there are federal agents... Apparently, they are at his Beverly Hills home, uh, the Florida home, and the East Coast home. Is it three homes, oh. and they all being raided? Oh, they they playing that Homeland all together. Homeland Security, they are raiding in regards to. Oh, the East Coast home is the home is the Miami home. East that's East not Coast is. I wouldn't go anyway. In regards to self, sex trafficking, we all know what the lawsuit said, so that's not all the way a surprise. I the so, you know what? Ever since twenty twenty, the world has been girl real crazy what happened here because the downfall of these folk Girl. has been monumental yes it has it really has because diddy as much as people heard about diddy the stuff that has come out is beyond yeah what i could think or imagine yes 100 percent. it is what Vince McMahon, oh. Diddy, oh. Uh, oh. the the wait were the Epstein folk in twenty since twenty yes. twenty yeah. yeah. Epstein. There's someone else I'm missing. Uh, before Diddy, uh, uh, Russell, all of these people, and I just want to the nineties. We need to have the like the eraser thing because why did you guys watch the freak nick documentary yeah. i started it a couple times i haven't finished it but my goodness what a time i can't even i don't know what's happening job it's I don't, so much it is so much you know the um i didn't get to finish watching the freak nick uh doc either but like the be uh, even the nickelodeon doc yeah. the nickelodeon doc it's just this we were in just what I don't even have the words. We were in such a wild time. Well, and we look back on it. We used to look back on it with such fondness. So those were the times. Yeah. The 90s were great yeah. before social media, before that. But now it's in reality. They were not the great. No. And social media is helping us come bring that to Yeah, life. that's yeah. true. They were a wild time for women. 
and Nickelodeon has shown it was a wild time for child for children too. actors. Yeah. That Nickelodeon dot has really like shed. I was telling Kev, I'm so grateful we pulled the boys from that world mm. when we did. And they were on Nickelodeon. Mm-hmm. Who knows? I wouldn't have been. I was already a weirdo anyway with it. Like. Even Isaiah was a uh, buckwheat. I had an issue with that low key. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. and then, uh, you know, he's a kid at this point, for real, for real. And so he's losing his teeth and they're trying to put and they're uncomfortable in his mouth. And I'm like, let the baby be a baby. Yeah, he, yeah. he ain't got no teeth. Yeah. I don't understand. Like, I was never really, I could never really get with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. When, when, um, when we were doing the Nickelodeon show and they were, you know, trying to give Isaiah and Joe, we can get them fruit snacks and we can get them this. And we, I'm not even that mom. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I don't even operate that. Like, listen, these are your options. You can eat here <laughs> or you can have sleep for dinner. Hello. Those are your options. Yes. That's just kind of how I operate anyway. Yeah. So the, the world in which you're giving these children all of these things and then you have these ado- adults exploiting them yeah. from both ends mind you. Yeah. Parents and producers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Financially on one end, well both really financially, but parents financially and then these adults who are taking advantage of these kids sexually. Yeah, yeah. Is and no and it's this big open secret yep. that everyone knows about but no one says anything. Yep. I just I I I am not that per I'm just I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't be the person that can do it. And sorry, they keep saying my mic is cackling. Um and the the other thing is from the money perspective, I was gonna talk about this a little bit. Sorry, I know we hijacked that girls. You wanna talk about her no, uh, ahead, pop the ahead. trunk? Sorry, we hijacked her pop the trunk. I'm sorry, we might have to do it again. <laughs> um the financial point. So you have these uh Coogan accounts that you're yep. supposed to put, you know, this 15% into your like child actors accounts. Me and I felt so bad about taking any of the kids' money. It's partly, not even partly, it is the reason my kids were in uh, private school when we were in Washington. Mm. I took all of their money that they got from um, uh, Nickelodeon, because mm-hmm. that's what they were signed to, and I put it toward their uh, uh, tuition, private uh-huh. their private school tuition. Because I was like, what, 15% off, that's, child, that's your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not yeah. no real money. It really isn't. We were having that same conversation because McKinley wanted to, you know, get into the acting and get the age and all that kind of stuff, so they made us get the Coogan account, and I'm like, yeah, but that's her money. Exactly. Like, I don't want to take her money. Right. That's her. If she, that it's going all going to go to this account. And when she is of age, she can have it. She yeah. can have it. It's just a weird, like, I, I, and you put I don't know. this pressure on your children. So if, until if, if she was like making millions, like it would be a different story. So. Right. Because it really it don't even be that much. Well, yeah. for some of these kids, it do be a lot of money. Yeah, a lot for of some money. of these kids, it'd be a lot of money. But my kids wasn't, they weren't making life-changing yeah, money yeah. for the no. family i mean you can go out and buy a couple nice things but i i, I don't even want to do that yeah. like i would you were gonna put this in your education yeah and actually it's when i started their uh college funds mm-hmm. as well um but anyway the the thing about it is it starts you, people are starting to have conversations now because the world has changed and evolved yeah. about kids on social media yeah yeah they don't have those same yeah. regulations mm-hmm. and for you know, they have these things about like kids and the exploitation of kids. The thing is, some children, in as much as they can, know the lights yep. is what I'm attracted uh-huh. to. 100%. I want to do the yes. acting thing. I want, mm-hmm. I do believe that children should be able to explore that. Yeah. I think what has to happen, some of the things, the think pieces I read is like, that's exploitation. The children yeah, shouldn't yeah, have it. Yeah. I think the exploitation is the process in which we handle it. Okay. Yes. It's not the actual kids being able to explore something like that if it seems the kid enjoys yeah, it. Yeah. What happens is the whole family mm-hmm. ends up having a financial, you know, dependence yeah. on the child going, no, the, the parents got to get up and go to work. Yeah. At the time, my kids, we were at Boeing. We worked, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. And 100% of the kids' stuff went to their education one and to uh, their college fund. That's it. Everyone doesn't have, and low-key, I get it, though. I have so many thoughts. Sorry. <laughs> Taking your kid to all these auditions, if they're really going to be successful, 
is demanding. Yeah. Oh my gosh! So you need. I mean, like when it, a lot of the parents were their managers at point, and you need. Oh somebody my gosh! To, yes. to be a manager. Because... Yes. Yes. I hate it. It's a lot. McKinley gets they they. I, there's one dude tomorrow, and I was like. And then when they don't get it, if I just eat literally, I, if I just email you and say she's done with this. Because I think she's ready to be done with this, and I am very ready to be done with this. But it is so demanding. It's so much. You all, you just, and then she got an attitude. She's tired. She don't want to redo exactly. it. I don't. It's just a lot. It's a lot. And I, yeah, I couldn't imagine going through all of that. You book a show, and then these these mfers got the nerve to be touching the kids, and and and. They, and they Are get you... convicted. They go to jail, jail yeah. for sixteen months, and, and then they get come back out and get rehired by Disney. Wild, because everything back to Boeing at the beginning. Everything is it's always all the money. It always Let goes me back tell to the you, money. I worked in kids content. First of all, first of all, I think it's at this point very well known that in animation, kids animation in particular, there are usually these Easter eggs. <laughs> Right. The artists, the people, the animators love to leave these little Easter eggs. And if you spot them right 20 years later, everybody's like, is that a dick in Aladdin? Uh -huh. Is that is that a dick in the sand? Did somebody uh -huh. draw that? Listen, I didn't realize that that was a thing early on in my career. So I was watching something and I was like, hey, hey, does, does anybody see this? And literally they're like, yeah, you don't know that artists do Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. OK, well, my note is that this should be removed. I don't uh, remove this. I don't care what y'all got going on. Why would we do this? Why would we allow this? If you spot it, take it out. But the fact that the animators, the illustrate, like the fact yeah. that they are it's intentionally like putting, joke, yeah, take it. What we need to address them. Mm -hmm. Why well, would that like, be okay? If they're gonna go back and change the Lilo and Stitch dryer to a cabinet or whatever, yeah, I saw that scene. Then they should definitely wait. Tell be... me the Lilo and Stitch so thing. So in Lilo and Stitch, there's a scene when she hides. She originally hid in the dryer. Okay, she was hiding from uh, her big sister who was trying to find her. Uh -huh. She gets into the dryer and like closes the door and like hides in there. And then her sister finds her eventually. And they were like, "Well, that's dangerous. We don't want kids hiding in dryers." Oh, okay. So we they they basically reanimated it and changed what she was hiding inside of. Okay. And people were all uh, talking about that. But if they're gonna go to those lengths to change that then they can easily change oh any absolutely of these it's, it, I, it's take it out well and call it, calling it an easter egg the fact that we've named it yes mm -hmm. means that everyone is aware absolutely that this is a thing yes. and it's supposed to be there as like a hidden surprise yes if we as adults are making content for children to consume mm -hmm. we should be making content for, for children, children to, to consume 100 percent these these ideas of putting this like adult content in it for children. Right. We've lost the plot here. We've lost the plot. We've lost the plot. Uh, people are saying Easter egg. Yes. I listen, I had the same reaction you did when somebody first called it an Easter egg and I was like, What are you what is an Easter egg? I don't understand. But it's a it's a hidden hidden thing, thing object in, in the whatever. And so if you spot it, it's like spotting the Easter egg on an Easter egg hunt. You're like, oh, there's the egg. That's essentially it. It's these hidden things that are kind of in plain sight, but it's not until you see them that you, you're you kind of in on the joke. Uh, but that happens a ton in animation. It is like the thing that people do for these animated shows. It is so stupid. It's um, gross. The other thing I was going to say, um, oh, I forgot. I forgot. But we were talking about children's content. It made me think well, of something else. Well, you were talking about McKinley. And I was going to say, you know, it is, and maybe it is a privilege, but I would feel like as a parent, it's also a responsibility. But it, it truly is a privilege to, I'm not going to use privilege. I'm going to say it's responsibility. It's a responsibility as a parent to push your child toward their dream. Mm -hmm. But then also to recognize when it's time for them to give it up. Mm -hmm. And your financial yeah. depends dependence isn't on them. Yeah. So you say, I think McKinley, so I'm tired for sure, but I also think McKinley yeah. is tired yeah, yeah. and wanting to pull her back. I think sometimes parents don't do that because it's lucrative for, for them. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if there was a way yeah. to monetize, so you're able to give your... For example, if your mom or your dad, your parent is a manager, most managers make 10, 15, 20 percent. Yeah. Instead of saying I'm your parent, so I'm going to put 15 percent essentially in this Coogan account and I keep the other 85, pay the parent yeah. the 10 percent or whatever the, the fee is and then put the rest 
in yeah. the kids account because the reality is parents do do a lot of work mm-hmm. we were doing the stuff um, on the with the kids we were or kev was editing yeah. shooting producing doing the stuff with the director you are you deserve to get paid yeah, right yeah but giving the kid the smaller portion is also not fair yeah, yeah. because once they turn 18 they yeah. ain't got no money. They ain't got no money. Yeah. And that's not and fair been either. Their whole life. And they've been working their whole mm-hmm. life. Yeah, yeah. That's not fair either. And when you think about the the children content on socials, that's what yeah. is a concern to me. Like some of the kids, maybe they do want to go into acting. Maybe they do want to be, you know, these days kids want to be social media influencers. Oh my gosh. McKinley yeah, well, is like all they're YouTuber. All like, they're I want to be a YouTuber. That was not a job. On top of she experiences y'all. Yeah. So yeah. all you she, too shoot, but yeah, she'd be like, I'm not a lawyer, yeah. but like all she, at this point, what she sees in a way that we saw our parents get up and go to work, right. what she is surrounded by at this point, when it comes to adults making money and having a job, they be on Instagram and YouTube. Like yeah. that's, she literally this morning was like, I was watching YouTube and, or when I got on YouTube today, you and dad's podcast was there. And I was like, that's so, like, yeah. this is the norm for her. So a lot of them now aspire Absolutely. to do that. Mm-hmm. It's just really, what is challenging for me is that, um, and I'd be trying to be conscious to not be like our parents, quote unquote, right? Mm-hmm. Where it's like older generations, because of their experience, will look down upon or like shun or just, it really comes out of ignorance yeah. many times, but they're like, they don't consider it real work. Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. consider yeah. it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you need to go out and get a job. Yeah. And this is work. For sure. This, it, it is work. And so there is a way to talk about it and aspire to do it and, and to actually do it and raise your kids if they want to do it. Like, there is a way to do it uh, and do it properly without exploiting them but it it, you, it is you have to figure it out too because yeah. it all is still very new and it so be, it has I, to be better regulated it does have to be better better regulated and actually that was ron DeSantis, who is not oh. the best person in the world <laughs> by any means okay but he just signed a bill in uh, a law in florida banning kids under 14 from social media um and so essentially he it's gonna go back to the social media apps that if accounts have been created with birth dates that would dictate the children are 14 or under that they have to be deleted and then or you have to there has to be some connection to a parent basically that allows yeah. which I thought was in existence a little bit anyway maybe it was 13 I don't know but anyway apparently there's this new law I haven't all the way looked into it but uh, I do think in general like outside of Ron DeSantis because really but there should be some regulations with it uh, and low key while we're on it I think the iPad, there's an ability to connect your kids' tech Mm -hmm. devices to yours. So, like, McKinley, I set time limits. She can be on Roblox for two hours a day. Mm -hmm. When she hits that time, she has to either get off or she can send a request to me that says, can I stay for longer and then I can approve how much longer. She can't download any apps without me approving it. Like, all of that stuff, I think there's still a lot of work to do when it comes to that stuff because I would still even like to regulate more on YouTube the things that she even has access to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, because to your point that you were making about the uh, airplanes and the Boeing, like if you allow people to self-regulate, uh, to, to self-rate is what I would call it, mm-hmm. um, they always going to say ain't nothing problematic and they stuck. Yeah. Until it comes back to them. Until and that's it, the thing with yes. YouTube. They won't flag it until it gets flagged yes. and sent back Absolutely. to them. Because I will post a video and I'll be like, not problematic, not, no issues, yeah. no yep. cursing, no did 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 did. And then I just be like, post. And then a month later, they be like, hey, that you you lied. Yes. There's something in here. Or the standard is different. I'm thinking, oh, this was fine. Mm-hmm. Like on TikTok, people are saying pew pew. And I'm like, oh, we're yeah. not supposed to say, I didn't know that. So I would Girl. mark it, Girl. I didn't know that. You know, unalive is a thing. They be pissed at me. Why you always say unalive? You always, we need to use the proper terms. Let me tell you, the boy on YSL said, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm high as hell right now. I'm finna go to sleep on y'all ass. Literally, he said that. So that is like clickable, searchable, funny moment. I post it. They gonna flag me on TikTok. We don't post stuff about drugs. Or it actually, the way that they worded it is, we don't show people doing drugs. And I was like, he didn't do the drug on the thing. <laughs> and they literally commented back like, your video is, is we're, no, girl. We're demonetization. You're not getting paid for this. But, like, 
they be doing all this stuff. Yeah. And it's not consistent. And it's not consistent. That's I don't know if that was a social... tangent, but it's it not was. consistent. No, you can say pew pew. You, you can can't say... say. You cannot say go. If you well, like, you just said, we'll are we finna to, get we'll demonetized we'll on YouTube? Out. Not for YouTube. It's not I don't the same. know. I don't know anymore. That's I my point. I think it's fine on YouTube. It's not on TikTok. Oh, I got it. Got it. Got it. I think it's easier to trace probably because it's shorter content. Yeah, so they can, their their algorithm can. It's doing it. Faster. I'm gonna tell you. I just feel like the the uh, Nickelodeon doc, and I felt so bad for that man. I felt Nick bad for his Drake. father. Oh, oh my, my, my God. I'm happy you brought that up. It. And For him to be aware and then he still, you know what? That, that, that hurt my soul. Mine too. Because as a parent, I can see, okay, you wanting to do what's best for your child and feeling like you know, but also wanting to, I don't want you to hate me forever. And if you think mm -hmm. this is what you want to do, I'm going to, like, there is, I understand him doing what he did. All for that mama. I was going to say, there's a reason why she wasn't in the documentary. All for that mama to just just miss it all. Just miss for it For his all. random girlfriend's mama to be like, something ain't right with she this. She sure did. Come, come on in here and let me talk to you. Oh, my God. You know, when, when stuff like that happens, though, I sometimes I'd be like, for better or for worse. God, what would I do in that situation? I know, I've been thinking about that, too. Like, would I have recognized the signs? Would I have said something? You know something? who would have? Your sister. Oh, Nick would have. Monique, when Monique it'd be coming have. to stuff like that, she'd, she'd be like, do. something is off. Yeah, she's, Nick would have. And she would, be able to, she would be able to handle the conversation, having it and getting the information yeah. out and then mm -hmm. knowing what to do. Yeah, yeah. To your point, I would be like, I, I don't, I. They it, did what? I, the thing about it is beyond like going to jail, I would have to know that I'm. I have to have to find out the information first. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I'm like, I don't know. I don't know that I would have seen. You can be preventative. And that's mm -hmm. what I was saying about the Nickelodeon stuff. Some stuff is just preventative. Yeah. I don't like y'all. Y'all yeah. acting weird. So I'm going to just be a, just make things difficult because it's still my shroud and I, I don't need the money. So I'm going to tell you no all day long and I don't care. I'll be the speed bump in the whole operation. I don't care. But if my son was like, I really want to do it, I really want to do it, I really want to do it, and he was doing it, and he was put in these situations, I'm like, would I have been aware enough the oh, way wait, for that your dad? Kid? Well, yes, the way oh, the dad I think for was. For your kid, I it's think you would have been aware enough. The issue with him is he, the the guy, was able to turn everyone against him because he was friends That's with true. everybody on the production, so it was easier for him to be like, his father's a pain in the butt, and he's making it difficult. We right. should all make it hard for him and push him out. And it was easier for him to get all the producers on his side right. and get him pushed out. Yeah, yeah. You think you would have been if it was my Drake's dad with my kids? Yes. To the point where you would have recognized it. I would have felt like I don't know well, if I would have under is, knew. other people saw it too. They were just like, "Oh, he's touchy feely. Oh, he's that." Yeah, kind of no, guy. not see, for my but, kids. Yeah, I don't like that. Not yeah. for my kids though. So what I'm saying. Well, both sides. So you can answer both sides, either as Drake's dad or as the girlfriend. As the girlfriend's mom, Drake's I would have just, I would have been like, that don't seem right. I don't, I don't know that I would have, but I don't know that I would have called him in to ask him is something going on. I would have just noted that Sounds don't weird. seem right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, be, because the thing about how I feel about people and their kids, because it's how I feel about me yeah. and my kids, don't, they, these are mine. Okay, and yeah, there yeah. are lines that you should not cross. That's not your. I don't need. No but I man. wonder if his mom was so, not there, and that's why he. She seemed oh, a little out of the. I don't want to say yeah, anything she did. to her, but she seemed a little like not not as attentive. Yeah. Um, and also he was what probably 16, 17 at the yeah, time yeah. this happened. So See, and that I just feel like it gets a little bit hairy. You know what I'm saying yeah. when they're older, he's but adult for, enough to have a conversation with. Her, yeah, but for, for sure. stuff you don't feel, I feel like you would be trusting your gut. I feel like if you encountered your gut felt wrong, yeah. especially for the ones you birth, you would be like, no. I literally, I'd be overthinking in yeah, these yeah. moments. I'd be like, oh, what would I have? I mean, this very it's, hypothetical make believe scenario. I'm like, what would I have done? Yeah, would yeah. I have known? Would I have missed it? What if I would have missed it? Then my boys would be jacked up. I would like, and you just kind of go down yeah. this, yeah, you yeah, know? spiral. And totally. maybe that's why I'm preventative up top. Yeah. But I would pray, like God, let me see the things. If I was Drake's girlfriend, yeah. I don't know. Given I don't that know. particular situation, I don't you know, know. But also, he was calling him he was enough calling times for it to be like, yeah, and that is this weird. shouldn't be happening. Yeah, that that's like more than a red flag. Yeah, yeah. that's like he's slapping you in parent, the face. He's just a guy. Yeah, but I don't know. I wonder if to take though, you to Six Flags on the side uh, of that's he weird. blowing up your phone. But like I wonder this? if I would have called the mom. That's my thing. Is nowadays no. it feels more 
correct to contact the parent. Right. Yeah, right. I feel like right. I probably would have called the mom. That could have yeah. led to nothing because she could have. And it would have led to nothing. Like, oh, he yeah. does this all the time. Yeah, yeah. And then, but then I would have been like, well, if the mom is fine with it, maybe that's just the relationship and it's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, like let me back off because you know we're in a, we're in a we're in a society of mind your business. Exactly. Exactly. So you kind of like that's why I would have struggled. I would have struggled being the girlfriend's yeah. mom. I would have struggled. Just I I I care about respecting people, especially when it comes to their kids. Yeah. I just respect that. And at fifteen, I, if I ask, I'm gonna ask you once. And Correct. Then I, I did. Mm-hmm. Hey, Correct. Hey, hey. Like hey, he. Hey. I probably would have called the mom. Yeah. Knowing me, you would have just the how mom. I operate. I would have called the mom. This, you know, he was just calling the lie, and we was doing this. Yeah. I just want to make sure, and that's probably what I would say. I just want to make sure it's cool. Yeah, because yeah. he said he was spending that, you know, spending the time well, with the us problem. and his girlfriend, and th- we apparently don't they had the plans. Night. It's <laughs> also we don't know uh, his girlfriend's mom's history if she had gone through something like this. That was the other thing. She's like a big question mark. Yeah, yeah. If she was, a she soul. gave who, who, who our was? sister has worked with children all of her life, so she can see signs. And Monique, Monique is able to tap in. Monique be on it. She and is able to. This is how you. You should ask them. This is how you should no, position no, it. This is how you can, like, she's good well, at it, it. And it is him going to her house yeah. and her, they're, they're interacting for it. Yeah. To, and probably for her to witness it, yeah. you know, firsthand. firsthand. Yeah. You know, and kids, the thing about it is that's that po- power dynamic. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't change. It doesn't change even, it's very easy to understand power dynamics when you're talking about an adult and a child. Yeah. Sometimes I think people struggle with power dynamics when they're thinking about two adults. Yeah. Yeah. But if you have that's control. Such- that's over so my career, that power dynamic still exists. Oh my goodness. It will exist even at things not as like the stakes aren't like have sex with me. You know what I mean? You yeah. could be in a room with someone and they could be don't say nothing. Kind of and that's was like the situation when he brought the writer in. She was the only woman and he and he yep. took all the men in. They, uh-huh. they flushed uh-huh. out their ideas. Then he brought yep. her in and like, okay, pitch to all of us. Like that's a power dynamic. That's yes. a power play. Yeah. Yep. And people Especially men. It is so hard for men to understand and have empathy oh, for man. the precautions, the safety precautions that women naturally yeah. kind of do to out of yes. their own safety yes. that men don't. 100%. For example, women, you can comment on this in real time on the Patreon. And then when you're listening to this at night, what is your rule? Because I'm sure you have them because I do. How far back do you park your car in a parking lot? Oh, girl. There's only so far back I'll go. Absolutely. And my preference, it goes down to even the lane. I specifically. Oh, like far away from the entrance. Yeah, from the entrance. I specifically want my car to be where the door is. I want to be in that lane Lane. because that's usually where the most light is. Uh And I can see the door. Yes. That's usually where the most light is. And I can run straight to the building if I need to with the door with no obstruction. And I'll go further back in that lane than I will the further out you go. Oh, girl, Mm -hmm. I will circle and circle. Me too. Circle and circle until I get a. I will even leave and try again another day. Listen. If I don't get a parking spot that I feel safe about having. Yes. I'm not parking in a garage. I am not parking in a parking garage. Sorry, not happening. I am parking. I don't. It can be raining. I'm not parking in the garage. Yeah. Dark and rainy. Not Girl, happening. this is the setup for a movie. Yes. I am parking in a well lit spot. Okay. And I don't low key, this is how bad I be. I'm not parking in the middle of big cars. Oh, yeah. Oh. If I am, ha- if there are big old trucks on the side of me, no, no, no. I won't be parking there. Oh, you need to see that. my vehicle. Yes. I'd I like need that to too. be seen. You Watch come me. Out, you come out of the building, especially if it's not late at night. I bet your car keys are out. Absolutely. You You're not beep, fooling beep, around. Beep, You're not fooling around in no, your purse. No, absolutely Trying not. to search for a key. Mm-mm. You are going to beep beep your car before absolutely. you get there so you can open the door right away. Girl. You also, 100% sure, 100% sure, because I know this on every one of my cars because my, my new car has this feature. I said, thank you, God, a woman invented this. You also know if you get in your car and you lock the door, if the person, if you're inside, if you can still open the doors from the outside. Mm-hmm. I know that on every one of my cars, the ability to open the door because it's real stupid if I get in the car and it locks. Mm-hmm. But then if someone, if I'm in the car, you could still unlock it yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah. That's dumb. Yeah, That's yeah. actually not safe. I don't want you to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All of these things women think about oh, girl. ahead of time. Men don't often have these concerns. Absolutely not. Let me wait. Let me just tell you when I was in Atlanta, which I had a moment of like, you're at the airport, you're probably fine. But I am with the children. And because I have strollers, I have to go to the 
elevators, not the escalators. And it's like off in the cut at the airport. And it low key looked like it was an employee elevator. Mm. Um, because like I said, the, the train was broke. So I walked in the elevator and I look up and it's all men. Oh, I'm on. And so I'm like, I'm on, literally, I'm on an elevator with all men. It's dark. It's, it's very, it's like a, like an employee one. Mm -hmm. It's not regular. Mm -hmm. So I'm literally like, what do I have in the bag? I have the kids with me L going with through my back. head. Yeah. We're going from floor one to three. Should I not be able be to get elevator? out when this opens? What is your next? What step? is your plan? What is your plan? You have Kai. You just go to hell with the stroller. She's in my arm. Kai, Ken's in my hand. We're just go like you, ha you. Men aren't doing that. Then no. men probably was like, "Oh, okay, you good." I'm over here like, now what? In You're the, the elevator with I'm all men. I'm being taken to the second. It was location. literally like five men. I was like, "Oh, girl, this I don't even know that I would have got." I was screwed. I didn't realize it. I'm just. Getting on. Ah, uh, and then you and realize. And the door is closing and you're like, this was a bad idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. But typically, and that's the thing, when you have kids, you when you have babies oh. and you are by yourself, I don't even, I usually everything don't Everything is stop. on alert. Like, your yes. whole everything yeah, yeah. is on yeah, alert. Yeah. I need to know who's behind me, who's in front. Don't let me, my, uh, my hairstylist is downtown LA. Oh, girl. And when I used to have to be there late, in the evening, again, women, we all know the person you're calling mm -hmm. to ensure everyone knows someone is on my phone. Yes. And if you don't have that habit, please do. Absolutely. Please start the habit. Yeah. If you are at night and you are walking alone, now you have one or two options. And actually, you only have one. Have somebody on the phone because if some go down, you want them to hear, to hear you screaming. Absolutely, but also don't get so caught up in the conversation that your head is still yeah, yeah, not yeah. on a swivel. It's a fake. You you know the prep you do. I'm walking in a room and there's a lot of people and I just uh -huh. feel uncomfortable, so I just need to be on the phone with you. That's exactly. And then what you, you just do. be like, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. okay. You just make up something That's for five exactly. minutes and then you hang up. That's exactly. That's how it, it goes. I used to call my sisters. I would call Kev. Hey, hey, Give I'm just not too many I, prep. I, yep. I'm just finna. I'm downtown. I just got finished getting my hair done in the uh, the parking because I'm not parking on the street downtown because that's also just crazy. So I'm about to go across the street and I got to go to the parking garage. I just want to let you know, yep. parking garages at night as women are so dangerous. They really are. They really are. They really child. Anyway, okay. We're I don't done know how here. we got here. I don't either. We've been here for a long time. Yeah, we're about to head out. Okay, thank you. It's so dangerous though. I'm telling you, and this is why the '90s were a dangerous time for women. Because men were the same way we need regulations today for children that are on social media. The Me Too movement had to come Absolutely. so men could be held accountable because men were out here being wild. Absolutely. And the culture, the environment protected it. It normalized it. It did. It made it normal to the point that if you were a woman who actually spoke out against it, you were the one who were exiled. You, sure you were, were the one who was, you know, like you were the bad one. And now all of that is obviously being uncovered and like we are, you know, women are being supported the way that they should be. But like, I can't even imagine how many people it was. It's more. I, I was talking to my mom not too long ago and she was telling a story about somebody she knew who was being uh, sexually assaulted, basically by a member of the family. And I was like, it is actually more common for that to have been the case then for it like there it's I would be shocked to find a family who who doesn't have that case. Yeah. It's I'm like, oh, that's in line with what was going on. You know yes. what I'm saying? And it's so crazy. It's so crazy of like that's j I just expect that to have happened. Uh and at this point I hope we are all much more vigilant and much more aware and it's happening way less but like during that particular generation I think and there's still remnants and there's still remnants you know cuz even today women are paid less oh girl like the 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 neck ne okay we really going to go the nickelodeon man telling two women to split the same to salary? split a salary can you girl and then when they found out, he's like, okay, one of you's fired, and I'm only going to pay you. You're going to have to work for free for, still for 11 still weeks. It's insane. Not only, it's not only wild that he had the audacity to ask, it also speaks to the culture that they took it. Yes. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's how thing. normal yeah, it that's was. that's how normal like, it was. If I don't, I have no job. Exactly. exactly. Mm -mm. You over here raising the daughter, Cam. Mm-hmm. She's not going to be in entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> crazy all right child usually we have a good time i don't know what we had today <laughs> we just
us do what we want to do around here. Thanks for joining us. Very good. Very good. Did you end the stream? No, oh, it's still black on the computer. Oh, so. oh, oh, got it, got it, got it. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us on today's. I thought you was going to close this. No. Oh, thank you so much for joining us on today's episode. We'll be back next week. We don't know what we're going to watch, though. I don't know what TV shows are out. So. Oh, I don't either. Justin's in cuffs? Okay, I got to go catch up on Diddy. Oh. We'll Justin Combs is in cuffs? Ciao. I'm not Lloyd, but join me on the Patreon. All right, bye. <laughs>